Uh, Jake Hartley, 23, and I'm a coach at Strength and Performance. Growing up, I was always like quite the skinny kid in class. So um, I used to play a lot of football, do a lot of running and stuff like that, and I never really knew what I needed to do to get bigger. So when I started going to the gym, I used to think that I knew everything, that I was making the right strides to get into where I wanted to be. But obviously everyone thinks that, and at the end of the day, I knew I needed someone to help and guide me to where I wanted to be. So that's when I joined S&P. Um, and when I joined, I was 70 kilo, and a few years later, I was about 95 kilo. So yeah, that was uh, the start of the journey. So after training at S&P, um, I developed quite a, an interest in you know, strength conditioning um, training itself. So um, I went on to do my degree at um, Salford University. Um, and during that time, that interest just grew and grew and grew. I started trying to learn from you know, coaches from all around the world, in America and stuff like that, to just uh, learn more about what would help people. Um, and then from there, I finished my degree at Salford, and, and that's when the opportunity came to start working at S&P. So for an S&P coach, I think that a lot of coaches out there are knowledgeable. I think every, every coach has got knowledge to a certain degree. Um, and we do have that down here and I think we just add that extra touch you know, with the service and making sure that everyone's getting what they want because it's not one size fits all, we're making sure that every person gets the specific things they need to succeed. Um, so yeah, it all comes down to service, I think that we provide that little bit extra um, which really adds uh, the special touch from what s and is about. Me personally, I'm someone who goes away and tries to learn a lot in a short amount of time. Like I've already touched on, um, I read and listen to a lot of you know, the top coaches that I see out there and I just try and adapt that into my own, my own way rather than just try and knit their ideas. I always try and flip them and try and make them a little bit different so they're a bit more specific to me. I just like to get to know people um, and make sure that when I'm you know, doing a programme for them that it's what they want to achieve and not what I want to achieve. I think that's quite an important difference. A few coaches out there, they just put everything that they want to achieve on a person rather than thinking about the actual person's specific goals, which is always going to be different from person to person. So I think a, lot of, a hell of a lot of people out there want to achieve you know, stuff in, in the gym, whether it's losing weight, getting stronger, for example. Um, I just want people that have that bit of fire inside them. I think everyone that comes to a gym will have that, that need to achieve something. But the people that actually do achieve it just have that little bit extra inside them, that fire burning inside that makes them want to get the initial goal and then also go for goals after that as well. Top three tips, without going into too much detail, number one would be to have a look at the food you're eating. A hell of a lot of people out there under eat, especially women for example, they think that eating less is going to help them achieve their goals. So number one would be to have a look at the food. Um, number two would be to make sure that you're doing the form correct for the exercises. You'll see a lot of videos out there of gyms and people training where the form, they've never been shown how to properly do something and I think that having that form and making sure it's spot on will add that extra stimulus and will help you burn more calories, build more muscle and just get better results in general. Um, and number three would be to stop training on your own and try and get someone like a partner or go to a, a gym with a group, group setting because I think it's a lot better, there's much more motivation, um, much more enjoyment in your training rather than training on your own. So first of all, don't be worried because a good coach at the end of the day, they're going to adapt a program to your needs. They're not just going to throw you in straight away and make you do an hour worth of just running around like a lunatic and sweating your head off. A good coach is going to adapt a programme to make sure that you start off wherever your level is and you just slowly build and build and get better as, as the more sessions that you do. So S&P means to me, it means quality. I think that's one thing that we always focus on down here. Um, it means service, giving the best possible service to um, the clients. Uh, number three, it would be enjoying everything that you do in a gym. You see a lot of people in gyms and they're not enjoying it and it's more of a, more of a chore than it is something that they want to do. I think 
more and more you come down here and people are excited for what they're going to, about to do because there's always that factor of oh we might be doing something different today or we might be doing sleds which we really enjoy so don't get don't think that a gym just has to be running on a treadmill and being bored there's so much out there that you can do